morning guys, welcome back to the channel. Right, we are back at this summer house job doing the repairs. We've got Alan Titchmarsh with, with us today doing all the trench work. So he is cracking on with that. So we have got the board to fit in there. So we've got the board to change over. We've also got one in the garage and one on the house. So I think for me, I'll be getting on with the one in the board. Titmarsh is doing the doing the trench and then um, once that's done because we've got for those of you who didn't see the last video and shame on you for not um, we've got the armoured which is ran I don't know whether you can see that very well but it's basically just been chucked along along the surface so that's not how we roll that is not happening here so we've cut the channels in Titmarsh is doing the um, doing the trench back to the shed so he's cracking on doing a wonderful job doing that and then we're going to rebury that get that sorted so once that's done i'm going inside change the main main board uh, it's all tested out and yeah so that's it so if you are new to the channel don't forget to subscribe uh like i say trying to get to 10k for crimbo um give us a thumbs up at the end of the video if you've enjoyed it and let's get stuck into it So in the previous video, I showed you the other board that we had mounted here. It was a little garage consumer unit that was a mix and match. So we had various different, uh, so we, we had basically a Hager. It was a square D board, Hager MCB that's jammed into it. Doesn't even sit on the dim rail. Very, very bad installation. Uh, no labels, no nothing. And in fact, the actual uh, supply for it wasn't terminated in the slightest. I, if you follow us on Instagram, you would have seen me moaning about that good and proper. Um, lack of effort from the previous Sparky. So in this room, what we've got to do, we've got to earth our metal sockets because they are not earthed. We've got to change a bit of, uh, so just outside there, just like the, so the main door, we've got a floodlight out there. There's a bit of twin and earth flex. We're going to replace a uh, twin and earth uh, cable, sorry not flex, what am I about? Uh, we're going to change that, put some flex in and get rid of that problem. Uh, so yeah, so we're going to get the board mounted up. I had already on Friday, um, I had a consumer unit um, ordered and it was a fuse box actual garage board but what I didn't realise that the actual whole cover front cover like the sides come off on the garage board didn't realize that so sent that back so that delayed it so we've got we got it all stripped out ready to go so i've reordered my boards and i've got um a four-way where it gives you the normal like traditional full sides in, a, in any other way it would have been fine but because i've got conduit coming in from the side I ju it just wouldn't work and I don't want to redo it all because that's not what I'm down for for doing that anyway so right we'll get set up and um, we'll get the board out and start mounting it up Right, so as you've seen, I've got the board to this stage now. Now those cables there are a little bit tight for dressing them in nicer than what it is. That neutral there, you see it's just bowed across. So that's probably going to drive my OCD mental. I'm going to have to join it and bring it round. I mean, it's not under tension, so it's okay. It's just, it's just going to not look very neat. Um, so what I've done is I've just moved the RCD and the MCVs over one side because then it allows me to drill through when I'm ready um, and I haven't got any risk of, of catching any of the cables and stuff. Now, the reason why I'm gonna stop at this point until Jack's done um, the armoured out there is because 
I'm probably going to have to pull this one back out out of the building and then while Jack dresses all the outside in then we can bring it back through uh, and then terminate it properly. That's why I've not drilled any of that in uh, completely yet. So for me now, I'm going to get on with earthing these uh, sockets up. I'm just going to use, because uh, it's always a good idea just to keep some singles on the van. Uh, this is, I don't know where it is actually. Uh, this is two and a half mil, but that's fine. We're just going to use that. Uh, on there just to earth these there's only four sockets to do in here so we'll get those sorted and then we've just got the bit of flex to do out there and then probably because Jack's cracking on to be fair to him he's doing doing a wonderful job so from Jack's now at that point there so he's done all all the way up there so you eagle-eyed viewers there you've got his marker tapes all ready to go up there so he's just come to a bit of a tricky bit where there's some roots and stuff uh, and then he's just got to run it because the armor is literally like this on the floor and then it comes up to this bit and then under the path so where we've got the concrete path up that bit do you know what I'm going to show you I'm going to run up and show you um, so where we've got the concrete path here we've already cut our channel in so we've got the channel in the floor uh, we've just got to break it up we're going to use the use our normal SDS and just just chase that through because it's not particularly thick so we just do that break it down and then we're going to bring the armoured through that bit there and then drop it down into the trench and then we can reconcrete that bit and it's the same the other end basically that's the gist of what the job is so at least it's not raining so it's a lot nicer um, Jack's if I don't know whether you've noticed but the way Jack's doing that He's trying to keep all the turf upright and in that position. So then the idea is that we can sit that back in as neatly as you possibly can do. And then just gonna need a little bit of topsoil and a bit of soil and, and a bit of uh, seed on there. And then you'll never know they've been there. Right, so this is the consumer unit that we're gonna change now. So I've tested this all out the other day um, and there's various different bits and bobs that's going on. So what's locked off now is actually the the garden office and stuff so we need to make sure because it's been off over the weekend all locked off as usual on there so what i'm going to do now because it's i am underneath the stairs so i've got some cables coming in through this way so this is actually the security lights which i did on friday so that's going to be brought into this fuse spur and then we're going to connect it up into the board but because i'm underneath the stairs it's really really tight so what i'm going to do is i'm going to set you up on time lapse because it's just a little bit too close quarters to do anything otherwise so here we go <laughs>
Right, I thought I'd give you a bit of an update. Uh, to be honest, I didn't realise that the GoPro had gone flat. So, my bad. So it's actually a bit of a pain, to be honest, getting that on. Uh, there's le next to no slack whatsoever on these, so I've had to bring these cables in through some stuffing glands that way. Uh, I've just dragged all these up out of the way because I was waiting on a delivery for these earthing nuts because that is how the old supplies were terminated. So that is actually a red raw plug. That's all that is. So. <laughs> not very good at all so we've got all these i've literally just this second had this dropped off and that's what's made me think oh I better better have a look at this so i've got my tails in they're all ready to go i'm just trying to get these cables dressed in that's pretty much as as, as good as you're going to get them on here there's literally no slack whatsoever so i'm going to try and do them without having to dress and dress to extend some of them but i think i'm gonna to have to like when i come down this end there's no way that these cpcs are going to get into there and then my um bonding i think i'm going to swoop that down here and then bring that in the bottom this way here and then straight up and just put them into these two terminals up, up there and try and dress it up and make it as nice as possible um but yeah bit of a challenge i'm going to be honest so uh Right, I better keep keep going because time's getting on a bit. Right, so little update for you now. Um, power's all back on. There's provisions here for some other circuits that we need to sort out, which is like this one's down here. But that is just so tight. I can't really dress it in any more than that. So I'll zip tie all these together uh, and these at the back just to neaten all those up. But it is tight in there for cables. So what I'll do, I'm going to now start tidying all this bit up, get all the meter tails and everything all dressed in, um, and then that's going to be pretty much it. Jack's having a bit of a nightmare with the the garden at the minute, trying to break through, but uh, yeah, we'll go down and show you Jack in a minute. Right, so just coming down to see Jack. There's Jack. Hey. Um, how are you finding it, Jack? Where's he gone? Hiding. Uh -oh. Alright to be fair, it's just I've got I've just got this end in it. Now. So I, just, I was able to chase through the rest of it. Oh uh, okay. I've I've come down here to grab uh, the chaser, the chaser, the SDS off jack. Um just so I can get those bits sorted. But yeah, so this is the, the channel that Jack's been been uh, messing with now. It's been actually quite hard going I think in it Jack to, to get through there. So it's been a bit of a bit of a pain. Um grinder wasn't big enough to get through the whole slab so then I had to chase it through as well. Oh right okay yeah because it's not really a it's a, like a bit of a weird mix. Jack's lifted this one up here because that was already in two halves and that's basically what it is it's just a mixture of just stuff chucked down so yeah it's a bit of a pain so the plan is anyway so Jack's gonna come and bring that through there and then re-bury all this bit in because it's, we don't want to keep messing about too much with it but it's spin hard going um Took a bit longer than we expected, or well, longer than I expected, to be honest. Whether that's just because Jack's faffing about, I don't know. But but it, it's, digging's not that much fun, mate, is it? To be honest. Um, but but yeah, like Jack's obviously got the marker tape down. So once he's put all the cable in, marker taped it up. Um, done a good job. It's just the the day's dragging on. That's all it is. So. So we've got the data cable which is near Jack's feet now, um, so what's your plan on that Jack? I don't know, honestly I've, I've not really thought about it, it's just... He's not even thinking about it. There's a bit of slack, but I just don't know where to bury it to be honest. Well I think you need to tuck it around that, tuck it yeah, near that edge yeah, yeah. down there and then bring it bring it through through again, so it's just, a, and then bring it into that trench, I think. It's a bit of a, bit of a job to, to know on that one. Um, so yeah, so it's alright if I nick this SDS, mate, because I'm kind of in need of that so I can get these meter tails sorted. So this is the problem with just having one SDS. What problem in it, Jack? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's a bit annoying to be honest. But, so I'm grabbing it off Jack, and Jack needs to needs it at this end, and you know, you know what it is. But I'll have to wait until I get another one because um, I do seem to rattle through the tools quite quite a lot. So. Right, you'll meet me back in the underneath the cupboard, I think. 
Right, so the board's all on, energised up now. Um, we've locked off these two circuits here because they're for the two outbuildings and one of them the ends all open so it's not going to be a good idea to leave that so you can turn it on is it so we just cleaned uh, cleated all these up uh, used a bit of banding strap for your meter tails brought those round just to tidy those up for now um, I've got to sort out some bits to do with this lot because I've got uh, the outside lights to put in another circuit here um, and also we've got to rewire the kitchen so I've got a little bit of playing around to do with that, that's why that's not, not sorted yet. And this armoured here is actually for the socket, which is basically at the bottom of the stairs. So that runs out, so I did that the last week. So I've just got to terminate that into the bottom of the board, but I think I'm going to do that at the same time with the uh, the kitchen ring. So what we'll do, we'll go outside uh, and go and see what, um, what Jack's been up to, see if he's got it all sorted, because I know he was struggling with the, hiding the data cable. Um, so yeah, so we'll go outside. Right, so we're on the old tour now down the garden. So I see how he's got on. So, as you can see, we've got one perplexed apprentice. How's it going, Jack? Ooh, mixed reviews, that's a big... Um... So, mate, is that concrete? lead to the side. Well, this, there's not enough gap under most of it to actually tuck it under. To hide it. This, of the odd gap like that, where I can just get it in. Okay. Sometimes I can't even get it in there. Do you know what might be an option? But if we get the big lever bar underneath that gravel board there, because yeah. that's all that is, uh, and lever it, lever it up you might actually be able to tuck it under because there'll be a void there because that's sitting on that, that this concrete slab here so if you lever that off you might be able to uh, get that round let's see yeah it's a bit tricky this this um this armored actually uh, this network he's trying to because it was we, we were on about earlier on and remembered now we were on about having it in the same trench as this one but we can't because it's i'll have to cut it all the way back up there and i don't want to cut it so and I'm not really down for messing about with that, to be honest, but there you go, Jack. Oh, that's uh, not going to work because that's going to sit flat on there. That's going to crush it. So that goes all the way through. Oh, OK, we'll have to change the plan on that. I know what to do with that. Here's next plan, mate. Not not ideal, but we're going to run that along the fence. We'll clip that all the way down the fence on the actual timber. There's not a lot you can do with that. Because if, like I say, if I, if I put that underneath there, I was hoping that it, there's actually a void underneath there, but there's not. So that's going to knacker that one. So we'll just clip it to that fence, mate. There's not a lot we can do with that. Right, we'll do that on the return journey, mate. So in here, we are all sorted as far as we can do. Like I said earlier on, we've got we've got all the other bits sorted. So once Jack's sorted those bits, I can terminate that and then finish that board off. But yeah, so get in there now. Um, getting there, getting there. So hopefully with a bit of luck, you've enjoyed this video. And if you have, like I say, leave your comments as usual. I try and uh, try and answer most of them. I'm pretty good at that. I do me, do me bit. So um, yeah. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already. Give us a thumbs up because that's what's really important. And uh, from me and Jack, we shall see you tomorrow. See you guys.